Hi everyone and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I really wanted to talk a bit about my studying experience, what I've studied and a little bit about that and, and what it's been like but also I wanted to talk a bit about the kind of question of whether or not every Christian should go to Bible college. So all of my studying experience has been if you can hear running around, it's the dogs chasing each other. All of my studying experience has been through Bible college. Obviously, I went to high school and all of that kind of stuff. But as soon as I finished high school, I jumped straight into a studying by distance through Bible college. So there are a lot of Bible colleges out there and there are a lot you can kind of choose from and... Even in New Zealand there's actually quite a few that you can kind of work with. So the one that I chose was an internship based Bible college called Pathways and I will link them down below. Pathways, the way they do it is a 50% study, 50% ministry mix. So you're doing work in a local church or a parachurch organisation for 50% of your week and the other 50% of it you're spending studying and every six weeks they have a block course so you travel up to the block course and you have the lectures and all of that stuff but the rest of it is online and by distance. I decided to do this because I was asked to by my youth pastor and I kind of wanted to treat it as a bit of a gap year but I ended up doing two years so for the first year you could have got a I got a diploma in Christian ministry and that first year I would almost recommend to any Christian ever to at least do one year of Bible college once you have finished school and you want to maybe go into the workforce or go into another form of study. It is a sacrifice and it does cost money like any other kind of study. So that's something you need to think about. But I think every Christian should go to Bible college. That's my personal opinion. I really feel this way for a bunch of reasons. Um, first of all, it's just giving you a real grounding for your faith. Like it really takes, um, it takes a leap of faith to take a year to just kind of devote that, that whole year really to God and to serving him, serving maybe your local church or another church you travel there. And to actually spend that time really, really wisely, really just digging into God's word, learning how to read the Bible really well, not just opening it at a random page or just reading it how you always have but learning really practical tools you pick electives so you can do like youth or preaching or evangelism or christian camping you can do any of that kind of stuff i just really think um it does something in you and in your spirit to really spend a year of your time serving in a church you have all these responsibilities and Another layer of it is that you get supervisors and supervisors you can have one or up to three supervisors and I just had one and um, the supervisor just kind of oversees what you're doing and makes sure that you're on track and all of that kind of stuff but the best thing about supervisors is that they have the permission to speak into your life and I found some of the most amazing conversations between me and my supervisor where I was really getting challenged on the way I looked at the world, the way I saw things, and even the way I saw myself, and stuff that I'd never thought of, and the way I saw God, and my relationship with God, I just learned so, so much, and I was so honoured and, and humbled during that experience, and it just, it really, it really took me from being just another young person to a young person who really genuinely was growing to understand and grasp the real presence of the living God which was amazing just I just found my first year was really really hard I tell a lot of people who are going to do an internship based bible college that that year is going to be really really hard and I think even if you just did a first year at a bible college or by distance it's going to be a hard year because we're going into it completely open to God and because we're completely open to God God will really refine us during that time and there'll be a lot of stuff that will kind of almost feel like it's being ripped away from us you know like things about us that are that aren't that great or things about us that resist god moving god kind of 
if we give him permission he can rip that stuff away but it's the best thing at the end because you become really refined and then you're more open to hearing his voice and following his teachings and all that kind of stuff it's really quite amazing so to be honest I feel like people who say they don't have time or they can't afford or whatever to do an internship they really need to lean into God and trust God with it because God provides and I can definitely be a testimony to that because my first year my church paid entirely for my study and that blessed me so so much that was incredible that's not the same in every single case people in the church that just knew that it was going to be a hard year for me and would just just it, it was definitely a move of God but they would just like donate money for me and things like that like for the petrol costs and all of that kind of stuff and it just it was an incredible year and though it was so so hard I learned over and over again that God honours faith and he honours obedience and when we really truly seek after him it really it really pleases his heart <laughs> and that's what we should be doing as Christians you know our whole lives should be based around trying to do things that please God's heart and and chase after who he is and I just feel like there is no reason not to do Bible college if that is the kind of Christian that you want to be. If you want to be a really blasé and whatever kind of Christian who just kind of goes to church and just doesn't do anything else with God and doesn't have a like a growing and an amazing relationship with God where we are learning how to be so sensitive to him. I feel like if you don't want all of that then Bible college is not going to be for you but I think we should all feel that way, we should all long after God's heart, so we should all pursue Bible college at some point in our lives. After that I did a second year at Bible college, which was a completely different story entirely. Um, it was amazing though. And now I am going to, a few years after that, um, I finished when I was 19 and now I'm 23, and I'll be continuing my Bible college degree with a different distance learning <laughs> Thing. So I'm doing like a paper a semester so I'm slowly chopping away at my Bible college degree because I can cross credit all the study I did for those two years over to here and get half of my qualification. So I'm already halfway to a degree so I might as well just keep going I suppose. I don't know, I, I thought this was a really cool kind of thing to start us talking about and, and I just feel like everyone should really consider doing Bible college. If it's something you can do, you should definitely be doing it, you know, I think you definitely won't won't regret it at all <laughs> it was amazing for me and my relationship with God and in that time I really and I can think of other people who during that time definitely got a really true sense of God's calling on their life and so if you really want to know God's calling I feel like you've got to get in an environment where you can hear it and Bible college is the perfect environment so let me know what you guys think about Bible college um, if you've been, what your experience was, all of that stuff, and yeah, let's have a little bit of conversation about it. But apart from that, hopefully I'll be making another video that's somewhat related to all of this, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.